Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. Today's lesson is writing from percent to fraction or fraction to percent and fraction to decimals or decimals to fraction to percent. Okay, so for example, we have here 5%. By the way, what's the meaning of percent? Percent. Percent. Oh, what do you think is the meaning of percent? Per means what? Let's say per week. What do you mean by per week? For every, ev for every week. Per month means? For every month. So this one is per, per, what is cent? 100. 100. Give me words uh, with, use with cent. Century. Tama. Century. Century is 100 years. What else? Centavos. Centavos. What else? Centennial. Centennial. Centennial is 100 year anniversary. What else? Centipede. Centipede. Tama. Centipede is 100 feet. Okay. So we know too well that percent is just per 100. So if we have here, uh, five percent then as a fraction you can write it as five per hundred so this is five per hundred mm -hmm. and as a decimal as a decimal how do we write this point zero five why five per hundred would mean you move it two places to the left. You move the decimal point two places to the left. So you're now getting here a point zero five. Okay, so what about if we have here 17 per hundred? Oh, what if it is 17 per hundred? What, it, what is it as a decimal? Yeah, 0 0.17. So you copy the 17. Per hundred means moving the decimal point two places to the left. So you have here the decimal equivalent to be 17. Yeah. Oh. So this is now 17 percent. Oh. What if the given here is three fourths? And we are asked to find the decimal equivalent. Yeah, you know the easiest way is to, to make this 100. How do we make this 100? So we multiply this by 25 and this by 25. This will be giving us what? 75 over 100. So 75 per 100 means? 0.75. Yes, 0 0.75 or that's 75, then you move the decimal point two places to the left. 0 0.75. Is 0 0.17 also equal to 0 0.17? Here? 0 0.17, yes. Oh. So 75 per 100 simply means here 75%. Yeah. Oh. Now, what if I have here a 2.5? 2.5. Oh, is she correct? 250%? Yes. Huh? Oh. So if we have here a 250%, this means this is 250 per 100 is that equal to 250, then move the decimal point two places to the left, and you get a 2.5? Yes. Okay, now, uh, what if we have here a two, and let's say one, four percent? Well, what do you think will happen? Two and one fourth percent. Yes, one fourth is yeah, 0.25. So two and one fourth is 2.25. So we're getting 2.25%. So as a fraction, this is 
2.25 per 100. But we cannot have a decimal. So what do we do? Move it to the right. Yes, move it to the right. This becomes 225. And then if we move this two places to the right, we also move this two places to the right. Right? So we're now getting here a 10,000. Oh, and then, but wait, is this already simplified? No. no. Not yet. What do you see? Oh, the numerator and the denominator, we take uh, 1,000. Can I take 1,000? They are divisible by 25 or 225 divided by 25. Oh, what do you think is that? Oh, 9. Okay. 9 times 5 is 45, carry 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4, 22. So you get here a 9, meaning 225 divided by 25 is 9. Now, what about, uh, can we move this to 100 na lang instead of 1,000? So 100 divided by 25 is 4. So the simplest form is 900 over 400. Do you agree? Yes. Yes? OK, yes. OK. Now, you, I'm giving you uh, five seconds to answer number one. Answer number one. Five seconds. Matali lang yan. Matali. C. 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 25%. C. 25. 1 fourth. Your answer is letter C. C. Wow. That was fast, huh? Okay. 1 fourth is 0.25. So, it is written as a percent, 25%, ngayon, is 25% equal to 25 per 100? Yes. 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 And 25 per 100, is it equal to 0.25? Yes. yes. Yes, because we just copy 25 and then move it two places to the left. Oh. Problem number two. Oh, what is your answer in problem zero number point two? Zero point zero three seven. Zero point zero three seven. So what letter is that? B. Wow, B. Galing naman. Oh, is B correct? Three point three point seven percent means three point seven per one hundred over one hundred, and that would mean. What? 3.7, you copy 3.7 and move the decimal point two places to the left, which will give you a 0 0.037. So the answer is letter B. Oh, number three. C. Number three. C. 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 Oh, solve it again. All of you got 11 over 5? Yes. Okay, let's see. What is 2 and 1 fifth? Money as a decimal. Or, or, well, where 2.2? 2 and 1 fifth is 2.2. So, 2.2 percent is equal to 2.2 per 100, which is now, let's remove this decimal point, so if we move it to the right, it becomes 22, and then we also add a zero here, this is 1,000, you get that, oh, 22 and 1,000 are divisible by 2, 22 by 2 is 11, 1,000 by 2 is 500, so that is 11 over 500.
or another method. You can also use this. What is 2 and 1 fifth equal to? As a uh, improper fraction. Uh, 11 over 5. How did we get that? 5 times 2, 10 plus 1, 11 over 5. And then percent. So, it becomes 11 over 5 per 100. Per 100, so you just put here 0, 0. So you still get the same answer. Oh. See? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Oh, any any questions so far? Can we do some more exercises from our book? For concepts books? Okay, so before we end, you always add kindness, subtract, judgment, multiply. Understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation.